Hi guys, it's Bridget and I'm here to share with you um, a quick tutorial on how I made the gift envelope for my um, turned up embellishment swap for Scrap the World, who is Tamika. Um, my uh, YouTube friend Wanda, hi Wanda, um, asked if I would do a quick tutorial on the envelopes that actually I received one from um, Anna. Hi Anna. Um, she had made me one in our latest swap and uh, so anyway I texted her for the measurements and um, I kind of you know figured out the rest. Um, I had made one before I texted her and then when she uh, gave me the right measurements um, anyway it all dawned on me so <laughs> anyway so the the short story is that um, yes I'm here to do my version of the envelope and um, Anna said that she had gotten it from Patricia so it's not my original idea it's just the way I go about doing it so um, this is a sheet of the um, Mad Tea Party paper by Marion Smith and what I did was I just cut off the, uh, the strip so that it was 12 by 12 and this is great actually um, because you use the whole thing and there are no scraps but I will show you that I made a shorter one with the same dimensions or the same scoring so um, what I did was I scored this I hope that this is going to be clear I scored this at three and eight and a half And then I turned it around and you score it at one. Whoops. And you score it at 11. It's nice with the double sided paper. You don't have to use double sided paper because looking inside to a white envelope is just as nice. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, it's fun when you peek into an envelope and you see um, pattern paper. So anyway, then what you do is you fold on your lines. And you're left with this. So then what you want to do is, if you um, just cut this rectangle out and fold the envelope, this flap won't be able to close because it'll hit the edge of the flap. So what I do is I um, hit it at an angle or I cut it at an angle and I'll try to do that as clearly as I can here on camera. Um, there's a score line right here. So if you can't tell, I'll show you when I'm done what it looks like. And I just go at an angle to the tip of that score line and then cut this little flap off. Okay, so what you're left with is instead of the paper going to the edge, it's at an angle which you're not going to see anyway, but this will be able to close. Okay, so then you do it to the other side, and you're also going to do it to the top of the envelope. I know it's kind of hard to see here with this um, busy side of the paper, but I will show you when I'm done. Okay, so... You see you get that and when you fold this over you get a nice crisp fold so what I do is I fold these over and then I use um, my corner rounder my standard one with the quarter and the half inch and I use the half inch side
so that when you fold it over, you get the pretty edge like that, just like what you see it when you buy in the shops, you know, those um, envelopes. So let's just do this side, and then I'll show you how I glue um, how I glue it all together. I don't use wet wet adhesive. is basically the same see how you get that so when you fold it over the paper isn't butting up against each other okay you round the corners okay. so that is the finished product Now, depending on what you put in here, you can close this with um, removable adhesive or eyelets or just, you know, wrap something um, around it, punch a hole here and like, you know, tie it with seam binding. But then what I do is, because you have um, like almost an inch of overlap there where the seal is, I put the seal, I put the tape on this side this is just the way i do it because it's easier for me to gauge because um, i'm holding the paper down and i can get it right to the edge and put two pieces of this this happens to be i think three eighths of an inch tape but um and then i put two strips and i put them really close together you could run your ATG, I guess. I don't know. I find this to be stronger um, and a lot easier for me. And then, so I do it in this process. I seal this first before. Press that down. And then I use my, um, I don't know, is this Teflon, I think, the Teflon bone folder to just make sure that that gets a good stick. And then what I do is I put a small little strip down here. Let me see if I'm in frame. I always cut um, this adhesive because I find that it's a straight line because whenever I try to rip it with my fingers, I always get a jagged edge. I don't know why. And I always put um, some here because I guess, I don't know, I'm neurotic. <laughs> so I don't want my stuff opening on me. Or to the person who's receiving it, it really upsets me when stuff like that happens. Um, but that's my issue, I suppose. <laughs> so, and let's see. I don't know if I was in frame there, but I'm just basically taping, taking off the tape backing and sealing it. And then giving it a really good burnish. And there you have it. You have a nice six, uh, five, about five and a half by what, 10, I think. Yeah, five and a half by 10 inch, nice gift envelope. You can put little goodies in there. You can put a tag in there. And what I did was just to see how it would look with the same scoring measurements, I made, um, I made another one. This is a Kaiser Craft. I don't remember. Key to my heart, I think. So it's the same deal. I rounded the corners and um, I just basically was playing around. I didn't make anything special. I cut it down to eight by 12 and I used the same scoring 
measurements. Oh my gosh, why isn't this going? And let's see what this one looks like. This paper is a little bit thinner, so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to put the extra tape there. But there you go. So this one measures uh, six by six, I guess. Yep, six by six. So it's nice. You can put um, a semi, maybe. Well, you know what? No, I don't think so. I don't think you can put a dimensional. Um, card in here but you can put like little goodies you know you don't have to make it this big but those are the sizes that I'm playing around with now and then you know decorate you can use lace flowers you can put another layer here with die cuts um, but I hope that was clear and if you guys have any questions or comments um, I'd love to hear from you and again this was not my original idea but it's the process that I use to make it. So um, have a great day, guys. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.